Hi, beautiful souls. This is Christy. I am the Intimate Warrior. I thank you so much for stopping by, and as always, I send you love. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, as well as share my videos. Love grows as we focus on love, and everything that you do for me is a token of what you already are. And I thank you for it. In today's video, I want to talk about the Hara line, or the Chi Ball, or you may call it the Ta Tan Tian, or Dan Tian. Whatever it is that you want to talk, you want to call it, I am talking about it today. A couple of days ago, I tell you, I woke up. I was awakened with almost like a kick in the gut. And it took place three times. The what was taking place is that I was being given my energy ball, my cauldron, my tatian was being connected within. And that's what this is. It is an energy ball or a cauldron. And we will have three of these and it hooks up within our Hara line. We'll have one within the mind, mind's eye. We will have one within the thymus gland and we will have one in between the solar plexus and the sacral chakra. It is not to be confused with either solar plexus or sacral chakra. This is almost like an in biblical court, like a child is attached to the mother in the womb. And this is really connecting with my womb video. What was I? What was it labeled? The Sophia. And it's all connected to Sophia via the womb. But I wanted to make sure that you understand this is where our vital energy comes from. When we are not when we are really feeling unhealthy, lethargic, this energy center within our Hara line can be depleted. And we all know, we all go through that lack of energy, being very sluggish. And there, it also affects our mental state when the upper cauldron is not connected. Then our heart as well. When our heart chakra or the thymus gland is not actually open and activated, we also don't have that deeper sense of love. The Hara is located just above the navel. It is the gateway into our etheric envelope surrounding the planet. The Hara is the center of the etheric or the chi body. It is the ball of energy that directly connects to the earth. This is that Hara line that, that I just spoke about. That we have to connect we have to build our horror line. And the horror line doesn't come on till the very end when we're about to connect our monad. The tan, tan tian or don tian is a ball of etheric energy about the size of a soccer ball. It is filled from the hara and is often called the cauldron. The ball of energy interacts with all of the organs and, and especially the intestines as it, it is where food is turned into energy. Energy is taken from the food and mixed in the tantian or the cauldron before being distributed throughout the body. Having the hara open and full is vital for real health and vitality. The Something I would love to. No. 
I think this also connects with, because the lack, now it kind of makes sense to me. When we end up opening up the Bindu chakra or begin to, or even prior, uh, I let me think about this. The Bindu is where we begin to start developing or allowing the the Amrita to flow. And it says, which I have read, and I mentioned, and I think in one of my videos, that, you know, I don't really know if that's true. That, but now it makes sense. Why? It says that when the dripping takes place, it is usually lost because of the burning that takes place, whether in the solar plexus. And now I'm going to go ahead and just kind of guess here. When our Tantian, or our Chi Ball, is not active, I believe now that is why the Amrita is so easily burned off. Of course, if your solar plexus is too high anyway in acid, it makes complete sense. If that, which means that you haven't gotten to the level of purification. You're still full of anger, doubt, all kinds of emotions that stem from the solar plexus. Now, when the energy ball through your horror line, that beautiful cauldron, is finally working, I now, because your solar plexus has been healed, the burning doesn't take place, that energy that is finally coming from God's source, and into your being can now be stored also not only within it stripping into every chakra filling it with that Amrita the golden liquid filling our energy ball giving us sustenance helping us also purify what we eat and turn it into proper elements that our body can body can more easily use to benefit ourselves. Now it makes sense. I have on my path, and I haven't read about this through other individuals, and I don't know if it's something they are just leaving out, or if it's just about my chosen path. I don't know. I know that where I am is that of a higher level. And of course I've explained that Christ consciousness has not always been readily available to the masses or the, to the collective because the collective has not been ready for such an advancement. Yes, there are people who have already tapped into it. These are individuals who in probably previous lifetimes have ascended further or made their ascension in a previous life now they can come back and whatever the reason is I'm not just I'm not saying everybody in the entire world hasn't had Christ consciousness or tapped into it but for the for many of us it has been limited until a specific time which is now everybody can by choice it is readily available. But in my journey, things have been given to me a part of my initiation and reward. That kick in the gut that I had, nearly being kicked in the gut, I actually was hunched over in my, I mean, um, on my side, I kind of hunched in. I felt it three times. It was being inserted inside of me. Just like my thymus gland. When I upgraded to my thymus gland, I was actually received, I actually received a, a jewel, my jewel, that my seal, well, that was placed over my heart. I observed that. And so it's taken me, it's, it's happened several times where things are actually given to me, a part of my my 
progress and reward, my initiation and reward, whatever it is. But I haven't heard about that in other people's lives as a part of their ascension process. For instance, the horror line or the energy ball, the tatian. But it makes sense to me that it needs to be given to you, a part of your process, that when you are walking the walk and proving your own worthiness, and I'm being overcome with tons of bliss right now, which indicates my working Tantian in making me feel more vital, full of energy, full of life, full of love. It makes sense that we have to receive something. You do the work and you are given it. Now, I'm not sure everybody's going to feel it. But again, it makes sense that you have to feel it. Because if you aren't having an experience, how do you know that it's taking place? The point of this video is to make sure, is to encourage you guys to keep moving forward. To not stop. Don't lose hope. Don't become discouraged. Have faith in your path. Trust in it. Act on it. It is action that proves that you have faith. Action proves that you have trust. Learn by taking an action, you can remove your fear. By taking action, you can remove anger, doubt, lack of trust. But if you aren't walking the walk, walking means you are doing something. Whatever it is that you feel that you should do, your mind has a thought, your heart has an emotion and says, let's go ahead and do this. Let's trust our path. But the mind, via your ego, whatever you want to call your dark side, your safe, false safe mode, comes back and says, no, I remember the last time this happened. I lacked. I was hurt. People made fun of me, whatever the reason is. But your heart is trying to get you to trust more, to have faith more, and to move more. Which side are you listening to? The one that keeps you separated and limited in your experiences? Or the one that unifies you? This is Christy. Much love, health, and healing your way. I am bringing purpose to your life. Take care.